It's a bit of a different one from me today. Now, each year I like to enter some sort of running challenge. So last year that was to complete more ultras than I've done before and also to do my longest ever race. This year, despite never having done back-to-back -back marathons, I've entered in just over four weeks, five trail marathons in five days. <laughs> So I'm now starting to panic a little bit as to whether I've got enough trail shoes because look at this. It is my absolute favourite pair of trail shoes but they both have holes in so I think it must be time for some new shoes. My other favourite pair of trail shoes, the tread has completely gone on the bottom so definitely time for some more before my five in five rather than just buying some online or heading to a store and just grabbing any old pair i thought i would ask the experts so i am now on my way to the Leeds central up and running store to get my gait analysis done it's probably confession time because I last had my gait analysis done when I was new to running so that would have been well over 10 years ago and it's a free service offered in store so I'm feeling a little bit silly for not having been to um, <laughs> have it done in the last 10 years but I'm going now and uh, yeah gait is something that can change over time so I'm looking forward to finding out more about my running. Here I am in store. Good morning, guys. Morning. Hello. So I gave these guys a quick call uh, just to check, but you can just walk in and um, have gait analysis done. Uh, what size shoe are you? Uh, so I'm an eight. Lovely. Um, do you want to pop your shoes off for me? Grab a seat. I'm going to get out a uh, size eight and a neutral shoe to get you on the treadmill. And we'll go from there. Brilliant, thank you. I just thought I would pop this in for anybody who has never had gait analysis done. So you need to turn up with your ankles visible. So that can be either in shorts or in leggings because your feet are going to have a little film made all about them. So yeah, visible ankles. If you're a female, you probably want to be wearing a sports bra because you're going to do, be doing little bits of running. And that's pretty much it. And what is gait analysis? Well, You'll be put probably in a neutral shoe, so you don't even need to take trainers, but if you do take the current trainers that you've been running in, the team can look at your wear pattern on your shoes and that will help. But you'll be put in trainers, run for a short period on a treadmill, and then together with a member of staff, you will look at the way your foot strikes the floor. And they'll use that information to help recommend what type of shoe you should be running in to help keep you running injury free. Allow around 30 minutes. If you're like me and you love chatting about running, allow a little bit longer. <laughs> so I brought my two favorite pairs of trail shoes and I was just explaining that they are not uh, doing very well. They're on their last legs. So this is, this is where it gets interesting because we can see, see on these ones, quite typically coming down on that heel. Um, quite a broad fit. <laughs> well, I mean, I think it's that I'm wearing waterproof socks. Ah, okay. So I think I'm putting too much inside my shoe. Okay. So I wonder if we can find something... A little bit broader. Yeah, or that will definitely fit. Like new shoes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to running in new shoes. <laughs> so what we can have a little look for is step by step, frame by frame. Um, first point of contact for yourself. Um, you can see it on your other shoes, that heel wearing. Um, it's quite typical. So expect to wear through those heels a little bit more. And is that good or bad that I'm heel striking? It's it's how you run. Um, I, I know you're you're hope, hoping for something else, but um, there's a lot a lot of population they hit on that heel. Uh, more people kind of more the typical more efficient efficient again, efficient way is with that foot underneath the body, that foot flatter on the floor. Um, no more of a four foot strike. Yeah, yeah, I quite like to do more midfoot strike okay. rather than four foot strike. Uh, coming on that heel adds a little bit more breaking force but we're not all perfect athletes. Yeah. yeah so. I don't know what you're suggesting there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this perfect athlete. Here. Actually, it, it is quite a stable mid stance, to be honest. Um, but the shoe itself stands up nice and straight. Quite a lot of the time, what we see with people running is much more hip drop one side than the other. You're actually nice and square and stable on both. 
Um, but let me show you the shoe that I was thinking of um, for what you said. So luckily the conclusion is that I am a neutral, which is good for trail running because then I have a much wider range of shoes to pick from. So now Adam and I are just talking grip. The problem that I'm going to have is that running ultras, I often put on a waterproof sock and it's making my foot so much bigger. We found some shoes. What are we going with, Adam, and why? We've got the uh, Brooks Cascadia 16. Um, the Brooks Cascadia 16 for yourself, as you said, felt really, really comfortable, particularly with your uh, sealskin socks on. From a shoe perspective, you've got a ballistic rock shield in there to give you a bit of protection from the uh, terrain, any sharp rocks or anything like that. It's a little bit more stickier rubber on the bottom of it so that when, when it does rain and when it is a little bit more slippery, you've got good control underneath the foot. Um, and for the res reservoirs that you were mentioning, you know, where it is a little bit more muddy around the foot, uh, when you need that grip, you know, you've got a couple of mil rubber uh, grips on there as well. Um, from a cushioning perspective, you've got DNA Loft version 2, um, which is just it's, it's a nice soft ride for you, um, as you could feel on the treadmill. Yeah, that sounds very uh, technical. <laughs> it does. Uh, you know, they, they'll come out with these tech technical words for their midsoles but for yourself you know it's it's just a softer ride nice transition through that uh, heel to forefoot um, giving that giving that cushioning excellent thank you so much it's been really informative and no problem. yay new shoes now i better go and run some marathons Slo slowly break them in give yourself a couple of days in them yeah uh, enjoy them slowly build up the uh the mileage in them before you go do your five marathons in five <laughs> days brilliant thank you so much no problem at all I have just got back home from up and running. That was an amazing morning. I feel like I learned so much. And I've got my new shoes. I'm not gonna do an unboxing. I don't actually even know what an unboxing is, but I'm gonna take them out of the box. <laughs> and um, I'm gonna go and do my trail run for today. I don't know if I've mentioned yet in my videos that I'm running the date. So today is the 9th, so I have nine kilometers to run. Everybody loves new shoe day, so let's get these on and let's go for a run. My shoes say explore any trail. <laughs> That's actually really cute. I'm out on some urban trails in my new shoes. I'm sort of trying to avoid the mud. No, Nicola, that new shoe feeling will remain even if my shoes are muddy. Trail shoes need to get muddy. So I'm having a word with myself and I just need to go straight through this mud. I think these trail shoes have been well and truly christened. Definitely not looking like new shoes anymore. They've had a brilliant run. I'm just at the turnaround point on my run, but I've just sat down on this fallen tree to take a mindful moment, really. I absolutely love being in these woods. The trees are just so beautiful. And I'm feeling really grateful to have had a wonderful morning chatting about running with amazing people. So huge thumbs up and thank you to Adam and the team at Up and Running for helping me to find my new shoes, which are now very muddy. <laughs> I don't know why I haven't had gait analysis done in 10 years. Absolutely my bad because I don't know whether I'd forgotten or I didn't know that they can pick up postural deviations as well. So if you've got a hip drop and uh, you might have a weak core or weak glutes and that's stuff that we can work on as runners and help prevent injury. So yeah, <laughs> 
silly me for not getting it done sooner. It was just really informative, so I'd encourage everybody to go and get theirs done and uh, yeah, help us all keep running injury free. Touch wood, I hate talking about injuries, <laughs> like you talk them up. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna enjoy these trees a minute longer and then head back home. What a good morning and I hope you've enjoyed coming along with me, something a little bit different. I'm definitely feeling a little bit more prepared for my five marathons in five days. What have I done? <laughs> um, but at least I have got four weeks now to wear these shoes in and uh, yeah, hopefully everything will be fine. Touch wood. <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. Give it a like if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to find out whether I successfully complete my five marathons in five days. And there'll be a few more running adventures before then. <laughs> See you on the next adventure.